you about uh, Sheldon, first of all, and just how dynamic he's been for you guys this year. Uh, Sheldon's been a great leader on the D-line. Uh, he's been playing his butt off all year, and uh, he's continued to lead us uh, each, and every, each and every day at practice, and uh, he's been that guy that we can all look up to. We've talked a lot today about his mom, too, and how much we can hear you can hear in the, <laughs> from the stands. How much do you hear her often? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, when he hears her, I'm, I'm definitely hearing, hearing her, all, her also. <laughs> Uh, she's always young. That's my baby, and uh, everyone knows it's her. The excitement of this matchup, obviously, coming off of what happened last year, and and you guys wanting to right the ship. Um, how much does that linger in the back of the minds and kind of feel for this week? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm sure everyone on the team that doesn't hasn't forgotten what happened last year, and uh, uh, we've definitely taken that into our mind when we practice all week and uh, just preparing for this team. How would you grade out the defensive line so far, and specifically defensive ends? Uh, I think we've played well so far, but uh, there's just so much more we can do better. And uh, we continue to work on those things uh, each and every day in practice. And specifically the pass rush, how do you think that's gone? I know that was a big talking point mm -hmm. before the season. Yeah, it's just something we continue to work on every day, and uh, uh, it gets better and better every game. What, do you, what have you seen about Cody Kessler in terms of what you know the scouting report is about him and how you guys might approach him. Yeah, he's a great quarterback. Uh, he makes great decisions, and uh, he's definitely going to be one of those guys we have to get after to get after this weekend. When you saw the film of what Washington did against them, I mean, they put a lot of pressure on, had five sacks. How do you guys, you know, translate that into what what could be this week? Yeah, uh, Washington may have got gotten them pretty good, but uh, USC ran the ball really good good, good that game and. Uh, that's something we have to stop this week. We've got to stop the run. How is Sheldon's leadership and kind of the second year of a leadership role, how has it kind of manifested itself inside the defensive line room? Yeah, um, like I said, uh, he's, he's been that guy that we can always look up to uh, whenever we have questions. Uh, and he's been that guy that's always had, had great energy every, every single day of practice. So he's been a great leader for us. What does that do to have that kind of a leader on the defensive line where Maybe last year Sheldon was maybe a little bit hesitant. You guys didn't have a lot of other upperclassmen in that unit. Yeah, I think uh, we're a lot closer as a D line due to that leadership, uh, and uh, we do everything do everything together now, uh, and it just helps us play play together when we're on the field. What is playing together? How can that produce better results for you guys? Yeah, just each and every everyone doing their own job and uh, just playing for the guy right next to you. That's gonna definitely enter better production. Was that? Hard to do sometimes last year where there were so many injuries on the line where you had some you know true freshmen playing last year. Was that difficult at times, especially maybe in going into that USC game? Uh, maybe, but uh, we have a next man in mentality, and the next guy up has to step yeah. up just like the guy in front of him was doing. So that's how we think of it. Yep.